April 26. It's my first time out hunting this spring. There's two or three times. You can probably already hear they've been got one. I just heard one fly down, I think. They're about 100 and 150 yards behind me in the woods. Been running a camera out here this um, this spring just because I haven't been home at all to scout, so. Looks like there's been quite a few birds using this field. Kind of late morning, in the evening, so. Hopefully they'll be out this morning. <sighs> They're just hammering away back there, but it's a beautiful morning out. Clear skies in the mid-30s. Should warm up pretty quick, so guess we'll see what happens. Itself stepped out into the field about 150 yards. He turned and saw the decoys right away and just started slowly, kind of half strutting his way in. Thought it was going to happen, he was coming in perfect. While he was coming in, I had a group of probably eight or, eight or ten uh, hens come out in the corner and they all fed into like 20, 30 yards of me. So, figured if he came into the hens or the decoys, I'd get a shot at him. His, he was working his way down and all of a sudden he just turned around and started walking away like got all spooky. That happened another Tom came out in this corner right with all the group of hens and uh, he popped out and just started walking straight to another Tom. So the other one wandered off and I thought he might come back to the flock so I can get a shot. The dominant bird just went into the woods where so that other one came out. Then all the hens went in with him then the other one after they went in followed him in so goblin on roost, so I hope another one might come out or maybe another hour or two. Those hens might kick those toms off, they might come back out, so just gonna sit tight and see, see if hopefully we can't get lucky this morning. 
It's the evening of April 28th. It was super rainy all morning. Cleared up around midday. Now it's pretty sunny out, really warm. It's in the mid to high 70s, so I'm guessing the birds are hunkered down all morning. Hoping this warm weather gets them out in the fields tonight. I'm sitting at the same spot as a couple mornings ago where I had a close call with a couple of those toms and a bunch of hens come in, so hoping those same birds might come out tonight. So I'm just gonna sit here for a few hours and we'll see. I don't know if I got any of that on footage at all. I'm sitting here looking at the field. Next thing you know, I heard someone spit and drum right behind me. Whew, I'm shaking. Literally about 10 yards behind me, I turn around. And I see a beet red head right in the brush. I think there's two of them. I turned around as quietly as I could in the brush. And they were in the brush and they kind of got behind the tree. As soon as one stepped in the gap, I saw its beard. It was a really brushy shot, but I saw a little bit of its red head after I saw the beard. It was only like 15 yards, so I shot. I think he folded up right there, so I'm gonna go grab him. Well, here's my 2024 spring turkey. Definitely one of the craziest turkey hunts I've ever had. I've been watching down the other end of the field all night, because I've been hearing one gobble back in the woods. Way down there, a couple hundred yards. And all of a sudden I swore I heard one spit and drum in the woods just about 10 yards behind the tree I was sitting in. So I just kind of slowly peeked around the corner. It's super brushy right there. So I didn't think there'd be turkeys in there because how thick it is. I could just see two redheads just staring at me through the brush. How many jakes are around here? I didn't just want to pull up and quick shoot just in case. So I kind of slowly spun around the tree, grabbed my gun. I started working back into the woods. I have no idea if I got it all on camera or not. It's kind of angled my camera back there and hope, but... This one kind of stepped in just a little gap to where I could see he was a tom, so as quick as I could, I took a shot. It's through a lot of brush, it was kind of dicey, but somehow made a good shot on him. Pretty nice bird. Got a nice, probably eight, eight or nine inch beard. Some of the biggest spurs I've ever shot on a turkey, if not probably the biggest. All right, an inch, inch and a half spurs, curved, super pointy. So he's definitely an older bird. Um, yeah, just totally wild hunt, but. Here he is.